what did the cackling sound like? <laughs> do you think there's a reason why you get these premonitions or these warnings? I can go into certain buildings and go, I can't go in there. No! <laughs> of course you wouldn't know that. It wasn't about cannibalism. <laughs> what the f are you holding? Is that Jesus as a blow-up doll? You're dripping sweat, I'm dripping tears of joy. I yelled this five times. Corey made all of this up. Welcome to Haunted Homies, a podcast dedicated to building the paranormal community and hearing terrifying stories from those within it. Official announcement, we are going on tour. Haunted Homies yeah! no! is now a part of the team. Every single show is the three of us mm -hmm. all across America in Comedy Club, which is gonna be a fun stomping ground for you. Home sweet home, baby. <laughs> yeah. We're bringing it to my territory. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you wanna grab tickets, do so as quickly as you possibly can, because these comedy clubs are smaller, they're intimate shows. Yeah. Tickets are limited, they are available right now, plus VIP tickets. The other thing is every single person that comes out to the tour gets a picture with us that is 100% guaranteed. Yeah! These shows are gonna be uh, a little bit more fun than usual because not only oh. are we doing haunted stories, mm -hmm. we're gonna do stories that just haunt you. Yeah. Breakups, way you quit a job, terrible things you did to people that no one knows about. Mm -hmm. Whatever your deepest, darkest secrets are, we want to hear them. <laughs> not, our, not ours though, right? Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no we no. bring we bring okay, them on good. stage yeah, we bring and then expose God. them. Expose them. Okay. Yeah, 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 we're fine. We're like a tea God. channel. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're, just, oh, we're like a oh, newer oh. version of Dr. Phil. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? This will be fun. See you guys there. Please make sure to subscribe as we are planting one tree for every new subscriber. Our goal is to plant 500,000 trees by the end of 2023. We made it to London, finally. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's it. London. Woo. Woo. Oh, we're technically in London, right? We're in London. Yeah. All right. Okay. I was terrified. I thought you'd be like, no. Yeah. I was like, is that why they're not <laughs> wooing? Because we're not in London. <laughs> Shout out to the two ghosts sitting right there. Thanks for coming out What's tonight. What's up, guys? Appreciate it. Someone didn't hear the memo. We said squeeze <laughs> into the middle, <laughs> and you guys said no. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. The ghosts are enjoying it too. Uh, we've been learning a lot about the UK. We've been here for a few days. Yeah. And uh, it's my first time driving on the other side of the road again. <laughs> F it's terrifying here. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, we're in a motorhome again. So we're in like the widest vehicle you can drive here. Mm -hmm. The amount of trees and bushes I have trimmed with our side view mirror. Yes. No, the amount of times that Elton's like, Corey, can you can you fix the can you fix the side mirror? And it's just completely dented in against the window. <laughs> and I'm like, did a branch hit it? He's like, yeah. Okay, and first day driving here, for some reason I thought you all use like kilometers per hour as your speed limit. And I'm on the freeway and it says 60, and I was going 60 kilometers an hour and wondering why everyone's honking at me. <laughs> We're like, damn, y'all drive fast yeah, here. Everyone's just like, man, man, man. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Realized it's 60 miles an hour, but I just assumed it was kilometers the entire time. Yeah. Didn't someone yell something at us? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I should repeat it, though. I think you should. They called us a tosser. <laughs> <laughs> is that normal? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, tosser. <laughs> I thought they were telling me to throw something. <laughs> There's nothing worse than someone with road rage who's just like spinning in a roundabout circle with you the entire time. <laughs> just like, just, it's like, it's not like they pulled up at a red light, honked at you, f you tosser, and then drove away. Yeah. It was like toss, and then we just like went around a merry-go-round <laughs> together, just spinning in circles. We're opening the seance, we're opening the veil <laughs> with the RV. Yeah, yeah, keep calling me a tosser, watch what happens three more times. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah. Okay, also, we saw a pretty a gnarly car accident today. Yeah, we did. Okay, we were driving in rush hour-ish traffic, uh, 30 mile an hour speed limit, and somehow saw a car flipped upside down. Upside down. But then, <laughs> 20 minutes later, on the side of the road was a car on fire. Is that normal here? Everyone's <laughs> saying yes! Wait, why is that normal? Wait, hold on. Welcome to England. <laughs> Here's what I don't get. It was an electric car. They don't combust. Like, I don't, I don't understand how the engine was on fire when there's no fuel in it. Yeah, that's a great point. Oh, and also, we need to figure this out right now. We saw just three dudes shoulder to shoulder pissing on the side of the freeway today. Oh, yeah. Is that legal? Is it legal just to pull over and pee? 
Oh, we're taking advantage of that. <laughs> wait, wait, is it any, is it any excretion or is it only peeing? Oh, okay, you can't just be on the side oh. of the road. It's like... <laughs> Dude, because that was the thing. Like, they all made eye contact with me. Like, as we drove past them, I was like, what are they doing? And I was like, oh, they're peeing. Okay. Yeah, as you drove by, they're like, stop looking, you tosser. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I actually, okay, so the motorhome bathroom is now off limits. Why? We're pulling over to pee on the side of the freeway for now on. Okay. Wait, can you do that anywhere? Like, is there. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, you know, we go to like McDonald's and someone's just standing out there like, oh, you getting a Big Mac? Yeah. <laughs> just taking a pee. I didn't know. Okay. The car accident we saw though, mm. everyone was fine. I mean, we saw that, that we could see. Yeah. Everyone was fine. It was literally 30 mile an hour car accident. You could see that someone drove up on the right rear tire of the other car and flipped it. Mm -hmm. And it was a couple just like on the, the, who were in the car that were flipped, just super like pissed and like you could see that they were still arguing with each other. Oh, for sure. And I really want to know what that conversation was before the crash. <laughs> yeah, what were they arguing about? I just feel like it was a dude just driving like, oh, is that how you feel? Is that you? I'll f crash this car right now. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? <laughs> and they just flips it. Fucking did it. Yeah, and he did it. They're just upside down like, I told you I'm doing it. <laughs> But they were fine. Like, they were standing outside of the car. Like, I mean, they still looked upset, yeah. but they weren't injured at all. I don't yeah. know. I, I just find that so weird. Like, because in America, like, obviously, we have really shitty drivers. But it's just like to whoa, see Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Someone went, yeah, you do. What the? <laughs> hey, you just said it's common for your cars to catch on fire. We have the same cars. What's the difference? Your drivers. <laughs> Yeah. I think our drivers are a little bit more liberal. Hmm. Like everyone here abides to like the left lane is a slow lane. The right lane is a passing lane. Yeah. All lanes are passing lanes in America. Yeah. Like sidewalks. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. America's pretty bad with that. I do. I do agree. We had a phenomenal weather so far. It's been fun. Also, I feel like I need to drive a little bit more recklessly in the motorhome. I haven't heard enough. Ow! In the back seat while I'm driving. <laughs> no, that's good. No, no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. I feel like we need to have a little bit more. Like we used to, when we, whenever we drive the motorhome, we'd have like a cooking challenge while I drive. Oh, oh. I you like guys should... remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like how you're driving right now. Just keep going half the speed limit, you know? It's super smooth. We're just chilling. We're cruising. Hey, who cares if we're a bunch of tossers? <laughs> Wait, here, let me just toss up an idea right now for you, huh? <laughs> Let, let's look at this. Look, I have this ridiculous turtle top hat tattoo on my forearm. That I drew. That you drew yep. while we were go-karting. Yeah. Uh, how about I get to drive the motorhome and someone on our team gets to draw whatever they want in the backseat of the motorhome. You've got so many tattoos. What? You want to draw a turtle on me? <laughs> I don't want a turtle. What's, what's one more tattoo? One more tattoo. Let's call it even, huh? <laughs> let's call it even. No. Let's have someone do some artwork in the backseat. I get to drive as recklessly as I want. And, and then, then I, and then you also get the tattoo while I'm driving while as recklessly in the RV? as I want. Yes. Should we do that? <laughs> you know what's fun about that? We should pitch the idea to one more person because the day I got this tattoo and Brandon got his, we were also with Corbin. <gasps> and that. Corbin's here tonight. Cor Wait, Corbin. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Corbin, come on. Come up, come up here, get Corbin. Get up here, Corbin. There you go. Round of applause oh, there for Corbin. He is. I'll go to that side. All right. You're about to get a tattoo, bro. Wait, what? <laughs> Why are you dragging him into this? It's not me. I don't want to get the tattoo. <laughs> do you think we should do that, Corbin? No, I don't think you should do that. I think that's a terrible idea. Which is why we should do it. Well, you know, also, I wanted to say another thing. This is why I love Overnight as a channel, is that, you know, usually we're talking about ghosts and everything, but mm -hmm. you guys bring me out right after pissing on the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Corbin Reinhardt. Bring it out. <laughs> okay. Wait. Cool. Hold on. It's legal to pee on the side of the freeway. Is it then technically legal to pee on the freeway? Which means, <laughs> yeah. could you stick your wiener out while driving? <gasps> out the window! And just shoom! At the guy calling you a tosser. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you hear that? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what does that mean? Wait, so does tosser have like a meaning? <laughs> yeah. Wait, everyone's going like this. Right, right. Oh, I thought it meant right. you played baseball. Like you're a... No, 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 no. Like no, you're no, a no. tosser. No, no, no. Wait, wait. To More of a tambourine. I, oh, I was like, of. yeah, Tom Brady's a tosser. Eli Manning's a tosser. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's <laughs> a lot of tossers. Wait, so it's a tosser and a wing. 
the same thing. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna no. Wait, never it's mind. the exact same thing. So you can either <laughs> her or toss her, and you're still doing the same thing. Interesting. Wow. Oh. <laughs> no, because to me, this is <laughs> and like this is tossing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I feel like wanking's a lot more like rigid. Yeah, you know what I mean? Doing, and tossing's hey, a little bit more like. Why are you, know, you doing it here? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me, you you're telling me that when you were to, if you were to ever paint, you wouldn't look at the canvas? I need to see in detail what I'm doing. I don't know what you're talking about. You think I'm just like, oh, yeah, this is going to be great. No. I need the um, detail. Welcome to our paranormal show. <laughs> wait, I need sculpts. to figure out what are all the things we can do here that we can't do back home. <laughs> Cause we can't, we can't pee on the side of the freeway back home. No, no, we no, we can't. No. Wait, can you pee out of your window while driving? Wait, oh, that wasn't a no. Let's find out. Wait, let's can't. find out. <laughs> you want to figure out how to become a registered <laughs> offender in every country? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was good. That was good. Wow. Uh, I want to know if we can do it though. Pee out the window while, while driving? Dri yes. You can do it tonight. Wait, wait, wait. Can you do it if you're like peeing on the lane that's next to the grass? You know what I mean? Because you're not peeing in the road. Oh, so you're saying drive in the, in the left lane. Yeah. Pee into the breakdown what lane. What is yes. going on That here. seems a lot. Yeah, that's, let's start there. Okay. <laughs> Just and then, and then next it. time. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, you guys have like thousands of these speed cameras. Let's do it <laughs> while driving past a speed camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just one hand here, one hand there. <laughs> Get the ticket. It doesn't matter. I'm never going to pay it. I'm not from here. <laughs> that, that is a good point. We already have three wow. parking tickets. We've been here for two days. We're on a hot streak right now. Yeah, let's get another We're gonna one. We're going to leave with about 18 tickets at this rate. Yeah, why not? Oh, my God. This sounds fun. Wait, what other? do you have any other things that you know that you can do here, but you couldn't do in the States? I know that's a weird niche thing to know. You get to drive without guns? Without. Yeah, there's no, oh, they, there's there's no guns. Oh, yeah. yeah. got it. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Oh, a, a, kin a Kinder oh, egg? Those are Wait, good. Wait, hold on. Are those illegal? No, they, they were, and now they're now, now I think they're legal again. Wait, eggs now are illegal? Now I think we have them again, yeah. Yeah, because, because there was a toy in them, so I think they had oh, illegal. Because kids off. were swallowing the yeah, toys. Yeah, because we're idiots over in America. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like they should be allowed again because if you're dumb enough to swallow a toy... We, yeah, were, eating, you, uh, we were eating Tide Pods for a while. We were. Wait, don't we say were. we. I'm not... Nah, I, I, we as Americans, <laughs> I should say. Yeah. This is America. <laughs> Watch me eating Tide Pods. Okay. <laughs> it's too much. Wait, is there anything else that stands out to you that you're, you're allowed to do here? Oh, we actually oh. just got rid of jaywalking in the States. We just got rid of that. What? Wait, Literally, what? Oh, like uh, right before we left for, I left for Iceland, so about two and a half weeks ago. No yep, way. They just got rid of jaywalking. Totally yeah, loud I'm, now. I'm learning the news from you right now. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is weird. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What's jay jaywalking is crossing the road, not in a pedestrian aisle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I and feel like I just want to teach you things all yeah, day. I just want to hear you go, oh, really? <laughs> like, it, just, it sounds so, I feel like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could teach you any stupid American thing, and it would just oh, sound like we're God. profound professors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> AK-47s hold 16 rounds. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh, wait, are there any other, like, really funny words oh. that we don't know? Oh, God. Yeah, right, kind Oh no, that's that's the Is worst that one. That's no, the that's, worst no, no, no. One that's Australia. No, no, that's no. a great one in Australia. The worst one here. We Never just mind. learned Sorry, that. Sorry, guys. You didn't literally to, said the say worst that. possible Can thing we you Can we could have ever here? said. Okay. Can well, you repeat one more time what no, you just said? No, I'm not doing it <laughs> until the investigation. Wait, hold on. Can I pause for one second? What the f are you holding? Is that Jesus as a blow up doll? You have a blow-up doll, Jesus? Hmm. Is there a hole in it anywhere? It's Elton. Oh, hey. Hey. I have to make sure. No. Look. No. Look, look, there, hey, he's no. got a nub. He's got a nub for the bottom. Oh. That's a sock em -bop -em. <laughs> Wait, wait. Could, sock -em -bop -em. That's wait. the one that you punch and it yeah. just, it yeah, just exactly. Jesus it comes like, back no. up. Wait, wait. No. Could, could Jesus crowd surf real quick right now? <laughs> <laughs> could he, just bring it back. Just guys, crowd surf Jesus. Look, just do it. We know he can walk on water. Can he walk on people? Let's, <laughs> let's find out. Yeah, Jesus. Let's go, wait, Jesus! Wait, 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 bring him up, bring him up here. I want, I want to, I want toss to see him. this guy. Toss, toss him. him, toss, toss him. him. Hey, toss him. 
Hey, toss her. See? Oh! Oh! See? She's wow. a tosser. Wait, what the hell? Look at that thing. Dude, wait. Actually, really? it is. Put it no, on the put it on the stool. Put it on the stool next okay. to you. And I bet you, give it like a one-two combo. A one-two combo? I don't fight. You got it. Oh. It was close. He has arisen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus always arises on the third close. count. Oh Sorry. yeah, that's really cool. Oh wow. man, why do you have that? <laughs> oh, it's for us. <laughs> why to make me burn? <laughs> Don't let me touch no. it. Wait, should I leave this right here? Yeah, the whole <laughs> nah, we gotta give it back to her. But that's better than a cross. That's better than this is like probably the best thing you can have in a yo, yo, I, I'm just picturing now like someone coming in to do an exorcism yeah. and they're just like, this is the worst case I've ever seen. <laughs> First, we need the holy water. Second, I don't use a cross. I use inflatable Jesus. We should give this to Patty. By the power in this man, I repel you back to hell. <laughs> I thought it was you, Loki. Yeah. <laughs> It kind of looks it like does. Elton, doesn't it? it does. <laughs> Yo, Loki! <laughs> hit, hit him with a one-two! Fuck! <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm back in the seat. Okay, we should calm down. Yeah, we should. <laughs> That's really just Yo, Why is he looking at you? Yo, Jesus is like, why'd you hit my boy, dog? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why'd you hit my boy? Yes. Jesus is like, you will pay for your sins. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this, this, I, if there's oh. anyone to ever use the car, do you know who my dad is? It's this guy. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you feel like if Jesus came back today, oh boy, he would be like mad chill if you messed up his food order? Or if he would be like, I died for your sins <laughs> and you gave me Pickles? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, th I think I think he'd forgive you. Is this right? a That's what Jesus is all about? Right <laughs> yeah, <laughs> about Jesus and fast food. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus at Mackey's, yeah. I think he'd be chill. I think he'd be chill. I think that's 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 the whole point of Jesus, right? He's a chill guy. Bro, he's got that lean though. I Look know. at that. Lean with it. Jesus rock. got that swag. <laughs> Wait. Also, he's like just straight up showing off his chest, isn't he? Yeah. He's just like ah. Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't say Jesus and <laughs> in the same sentence. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a sin. <laughs> Wait, also, I just realized, I think by you throwing him, you made Jesus into a tosser. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, no. God, no. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was good, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive us. Why are you? Dude, look there. Oh, He's I'm like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing looking up? You're right. Please forgive us. I just love us. that Jesus oh. has this giant spotlight just shining on him, and he's just posed out. He does. Damn, I don't know. I'm pretty jealous, though. I'm just going back to the peeing on the side of the road thing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty reckless. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We should do it, the three amigos. That's the, It was three guys doing it. I know, but let's do it while moving. On the top. Ooh, wait. Hold on. We have a, we have a front window, and then we have a back window. Let's see if someone can hold a cup out while the other one pees. All right. And catch it. All right. <laughs> and, just, and just catch it in the cup. We're going to uh -huh. get arrested somehow. Let's try. Ugh. Is it really? We have three days off on this trip. Let's, That's true. You know, let's spend one in jail. <laughs> let's, let's do that. Why don't we? Great idea. <laughs> we have so many episodes in jails that we're searching overnight and we spend a real one. <laughs> yeah, we go to jail and we like, we'll a have friends. One. We'll just have all the ghosts in there. We'll be like, hey, we've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> we bring the ghost tools to jail. <laughs> oh, that would be nice, actually. Everyone here that has a ticket, you were sent a form. You could submit a ghost story, and we have a lot of them. And we actually had a phenomenal amount of really crazy stories that we've never heard before after doing, this is our 27th show. Um, and a lot of really cool stories we've never heard that we're excited to read. But we like to have a little bit of fun beforehand, if you oh. haven't noticed. Uh, <laughs> So we have a game uh, tonight that we're going to play. If you've ever played a card game called Red Flags, it's really simple. Basically, you get two uh, green flags, right? It's like a dating game. You get like two green flags, two amazing attributes, things that are just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And then you get one thing that's just terrible about you. But ours is like the demonic dating game. So that red flag is something <laughs> evil. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to compete against each other. And we're just going to have random people come up on stage and you're basically going to interview us for a date, and you have to pick 
which one you want to go on a date on. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm just laughing because I feel like Jesus is our first contestant. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, I'm looking for a virgin. Oh. <laughs> That's his first his first criteria. Where's Mary? <laughs> uh, I need someone who can get along with parents that are a little overbearing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so normally we have a random number generator. You have uh, numbers on your wristbands, but we found out last night at our uh, Nottingham show. Um, he said it right, right? <laughs> We've been calling it Nottingham. 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 It's Nottingham. No. Nottingham. No. Nottingham. 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 You're nothing. 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 Mm. Nothing. Nothing. So normally we do a random number generator, but this time around, what we found out last night in Nottingham is that. Not everyone wanted to come on stage, so this time, is there anyone that wants to participate in this game? Throw a hand up. You, all right, your hand was up first. Come on up. Uh, get up here. All right. Bang, come bang. on up here. There's yeah, give stairs. it up, y'all. And what's your name, by the way? Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah. All right, and what are you looking for in your dating life? Also, is that your boyfriend that you're That's with? That's my boyfriend over That's there, your boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. oh, the hot so, seat. Let's, let's go. Let's just go with what we already know. He's out. One of us is in. <laughs> okay. Yes. You have to Obviously. replace him with something better. <laughs> wow. What are you looking for? Oh, wow. You've got to be pretty good to replace him, so. Okay, but. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> But That's like, what are you, nice. what are you looking for though? You know, like what's like the, mm, like what, what, what attracted you to this gentleman over here? That he treats me like a princess. Oh, <laughs> wow. I don't, like, like the Mario kind? Well. <laughs> <laughs> he let me get captured by a turtle. <laughs> Oh, that's sweet, though. Okay, he treats you like a princess. What else? Um, he makes me laugh. Okay, he makes you laugh. Um. And wow, that's a big pause. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, keep babe. treating her like a princess and keep learning jokes. I guess. <laughs> Is there a third thing? Yeah, he's hot as. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't Pull know if that I meant card to out right away. Damn, I'm gonna be honest. That turned me on. Yeah. <laughs> that's hard to do. So uh, funny, treating you like a princess, kindness, and being hot as. Fuck. Yeah. Got it. Describe him to I me. I can see him. He's beautiful, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> it's a little dark. I can't see. Yeah, I can't see but either. I'll take, I'll take your word for it. All I heard was nar. <laughs> okay, should I go first? Uh, sure. One one question before him. Where'd you meet? Uh, we met on Instagram in lockdown. You met on Instagram in lockdown. Yeah. Was the first picture you saw shirtless of him? No. Mm, what was it? Um, he didn't have many photos on Instagram. He had like two. So I took a bit of a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> were they good photos or were they like abstract, like him looking at a sunset like with, with a puppy? No, they were good photos. They were good yeah. photos. Damn, dude, with two? Most people have like 12 on Tinder. You f did it with two? <laughs> Do you still t have two pictures like on your Instagram? Ah, <laughs> okay. up, my man. Are the two new ones with my you? Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Claim your territory, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me start off with uh, saying, I'm not. I'm not trying to brag, but um, I'm best friends with all three Spider Men. Okay. okay. <laughs> all three of them. Okay. So that's okay. pretty cool. We're ever in trouble. Spider Man comes. Oh, we need more help. I'll call the other Spider Man. <laughs> oh, that's not enough. Let's get Tom Holland. Okay. How are, <laughs> how are you living your life that you're in this much trouble? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, also, I am a special ops veteran that can get you out of any danger situation with my three Spider-Men. <laughs> that was perfect. That went way too well oh together. Would God. you actually be involved in the danger or would you just make the Spider-Man sort it out? No, I make the Spider-Man sort okay. it out. Yeah. Okay. I would never put us in danger. Okay. I would never do can we talk? Can we talk him down right now? Yeah, I think we can because also all three Spider-Man, don't know if you've seen the movies, all of their loved ones nearly die. Yeah. <laughs> all of them. All of them are at some point falling from space about to get crushed on the ground. Um... <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, th- this is my red flag, and it's oh. not that bad. That means okay? it is. Okay. No, no, it doesn't. I'm ready. Okay? It's Let's not see. that bad. Pretty much, um, I work at McDonald's. And anyone that ever complains that their order was wrong, I place a curse on them, turning them into a skinwalker. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Earlier, I talked about it, what would happen if Jesus got the wrong order and complained. <laughs> what is it? You're going to turn Jesus into a skinwalker. If I have to. Okay. So that's how this goes. That's how this goes. Yeah. So right all these things that I'm going to read are me. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> yeah, do, you want, do you want me to go and then you can go third then? No, no, I don't want to be last. That's scarier. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing numerous I, rounds. I, 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 I want to see what's good about me, actually. Okay. The world's greatest chef that can cook a five-course meal at any time. I like that. That's not bad. Which chef? Which? Corbin Ramsay. Yeah, okay, good. Corbin, Corbin. Ramsay. <laughs> it's Gordon. Uh, not here. <laughs> this, is, this is me. This is my time. This is not his time, all right? This is my time. And I am a genie who can grant you three wishes every day. Wow. What would every you, day? What, what would you wish you. for? What would your three wishes be? Um, to have all the dogs in the world, because I love dogs. Aww. All of the dogs in the world? <laughs> yeah. Where do you live? Um, not in a big house. <laughs> <laughs> just 45 million dogs yeah. just piled in. <laughs> They'll fit. Make it fit. Okay. It'll work. It'll work. It'll be now, what's, you what's guys want to hear the uh, last one? Yeah, what's your red what's flag? What's your red flag? So, we would have unbelievable sex. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> but, I Why'd make... you wink? Wait, wait. Why'd you look at me and wink? I didn't, I didn't wink at you. <laughs> you went, I didn't unbelievable wink at you. Sex. But <laughs> if I winked at you with two eyes, it's a different thing, Elton. Now I'm even more concerned. <laughs> but I make demonic noises the entire time. Oh, no. No. <laughs> example, please. Could you give us an example? <laughs> example, please. I knew you were going to freaking do that. Wait, hold on. I have a perfect person you can act in. No, <laughs> no. Put him down. He's asking for it. Look at him. No, he's not. He's like, Come here, Corbin. Put baby Jesus down. <laughs> I don't even want to know what a demonic noise is even. I don't guess Give like us an that. example. This is you, right? Yeah, if not, it just feels like a weird thing to flex about, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, that sounds like you're snoring. That was like, that was actually that's, me yesterday. That sounds like the noise you make after <laughs> you know, s- funny, <laughs> That's like actually me. <laughs> I actually went to what I do. Wait. Yeah. What? Wait. No, 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 no. No. No, I what? snore like that. That's what I was saying. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't go that Good far. Save. Yeah. I didn't go that yeah. far. Okay. I'm a chef, though. Okay. <laughs> All right, what about you, Elton? Yeah, I hate mine got? so much because I know what you're going to ask when I say what my red flag is. Oh, okay. And I f- I hate that this is what mine is. Okay. Read it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. You want someone to treat you like a princess, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, what do princesses wear? Jewelry, crowns, diamonds, right? Yeah. Well, I can turn wheat bread into diamonds. (laughs) Imagine it. Look, all this guy could do? No. That's what this guy could do. do. Was take wheat bread, make more wheat bread. Me, wheat bread, diamonds. Okay. Can you explain how you do that? How? Yeah. Did Jesus explain how he walked on water? Are you Jesus? He's better than him, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit cocky, too. <laughs> Look, think about it. Bread, pretty easy to make. Diamonds, have you seen the documentaries about how diamonds are made? Blood have, diamond? Yeah. yeah, it's terrible. Guess what? All those people, free. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Cruelty, free, diamonds, for you. All we got to do is go order at Mackey's over here. <laughs> Take the bun off and boom, you buy the place. Okay, honey. All right. Well, that's so, an investment. Huh. That's an investment. And it is. oh, yeah, it you is love awesome. dogs. You love dogs, I right? I do love dogs. Perfect. Because I volunteer at the local pet store every weekend to walk the animals. Damn it. Oh. Well, that's a good one. That that's what I do. I one. walk all of the animals. And guess what? If you have a hundred million dogs, I'll walk them all. <laughs> You know, and guess what? And even if we can't afford ourselves to walk them all, bread, diamonds, boom. (laughs) 
I hate to break okay. it to you, but uh, I grant her three wishes a day. So anything that you just said, I think I could actually do that. Mm. That's true, but you know what one thing you can't do? What? Satisfy her in the bedroom. <laughs> I can do that demonically, all right? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I guess one of her wishes is going to be the best noise-canceling headphones <laughs> in the world. She can do that if she wants. <laughs> She's a princess. <laughs> well, I'm a veteran. <laughs> You've got Spider-Man on your side. You're fine. Thank you. Yeah, and PTSD. <laughs> okay. God damn it, I want to change out my red flag so bad. Right. The only thing about me, it's not, it's, honestly, it's not that bad. It's kind of delightful, right? Because again, you like being treated like a princess, right? Yeah. You've seen, you know what I mean, Snow White. Yeah. And you've seen all the Disney movies. <laughs> yeah. Most of them are musicals, there's, there's songs. I really hope oh, this is no. dancing there's and dance. singing. There's <laughs> dance. No, it's worse. Um, <laughs> the only negative thing about me is I only speak in Showtime tunes all the time, constantly singing. <laughs> Starting now? Could you give us an example? <laughs> yeah. I'm done speaking. <laughs> That's pretty that good. That's pretty done. good. Yeah. I, I, ask her out. Wow. I, I would love to hear you ask her you out. You guys are literally Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> who is who? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the Beast. Yeah. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Okay. <laughs> so, are you gonna choose? So, Elton, how's your day going? <laughs> do, you have, do, you, do you have any questions for him? I think if you're part of a musical, you need to know how to sing and dance. Oh, <laughs> interesting. I think you're right. <laughs> what do you think, Elton? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, what do you got to say to that? <laughs> <laughs> he does not want to do this. He's mute. It's fine. No judgment here. <laughs> You're really not going to talk for the rest of the <laughs> show now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so you're also a mime. <laughs> That's a red flag right there. Okay. Okay. So do you, do you have any questions for any of us? Oh, good idea. Okay, Corbin. Oh. Because you're the top chef. Yes, the top. What meal would you cook me? Oh, God. So I don't know if you guys have Wendy's here, but... Um, we do. Okay, we do. okay. We do. So they have a four for four that is <laughs> my go-to. So it's a junior bacon cheeseburger that also comes with chicken nuggets and fries and at the same time, you get a Dr. Pepper with it. I don't like Dr. Pepper. Okay, so it's not Dr. <laughs> Pepper anymore. It's Coke Zero now. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay. So that, that's my ideal meal. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions for Elton? <laughs> <laughs> well, I already asked, and he ignored me, so. Oh. Why would you, hey, why would you, <laughs> you want to be, do that yeah. to somebody? Yeah, she's how a, could you? She's how, a goddamn princess. How could you be in a relationship with someone that ignores I you? I know, I know. Wow. What a tosser. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. You dance, I sing. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay. Wow. Marty, is there any shot you could pull up some kind of a musical track? You've got to use baby Jesus as well. I can oh. dance with Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there deal. There you go. What are we singing about? Where are you going? Whatever you like. Whatever I'd like? Yeah. Corey, you you're being holding? very, it's taking it very serious. <laughs> I want to f her. I want to go ahead and spank her. <laughs> I want to go and take her to the banker Because I've got diamonds with you and me Don't you wanna go and see the world? I can take you all around in a twirl You guys are clapping so 
f***ing all time. I can't understand a goddamn thing in my mind. Okay, now, don't you want to be a tother? I can maybe help you meet my daughter. That's how we make them, you and me. I'll show you the world and we'll be free. Now f*** this guy and his three goddamn wishes. Oh, why? So he can go ahead and wash some dishes? I've been to his restaurant. His food tastes like s***. Oh, you know what's the best thing? My d it hits. Okay, okay, cut the music. Okay. Okay, cut the music. Cut the music. Um, <laughs> welcome to our paranormal show. <laughs> that was pretty paranormal, right? It was pretty unexplained, yeah. <laughs> My favorite part about that whole thing was that you said you'd sing and that Corey would dance, and then immediately you started dancing <laughs> before you started singing. <laughs> we didn't plan that, I don't know if you're aware. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, did that help him win you over at all? I mean, it did, but also... Good books for you as well for dancing. So. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I said you did good. Oh, Thank I thought you, you said it to him. No, no, no. I did good at dancing. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. It's a tough gonna, choice. This is, okay. this is actually a tough choice. This is, this is now... This your, is a tough choice. Do you need a recap or do you know who everyone is? So we've got kind of chef who can grant <laughs> me no, three wishes. No, 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 wishes. not kind of. <laughs> I could be whatever you want me to be because I got three wishes. Yeah, but you told me you're a chef. Yes, but then if I'm not a good chef, you can wish for a better chef, and then I could be a better chef. But you could just be a better chef already. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! She's got a this point. is who you're dating. She's oh my god! <laughs> She's got a point. <laughs> okay, and then Corey. I mean, I love Spider Man, so I could meet all the Spider Men. Exactly. And side note, my boyfriend loves Spider Man, so that's a two in one situation. I got you. <laughs> 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 and then Elton, I'm pretty impressed with the commitment of oh. the uh, singing and dancing. Mm. This is a tough choice. The tension. It is. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to choose Corey. <laughs> yes! Yes! I hate this game! Yes! I hate this! I did all that for nothing?! <laughs> I didn't fight for my country for no reason. <laughs> guys brought me to him. All right, you Corey gets round this. one. Let's thank go. you so much. Thank round of applause, everyone. Let's go. Good job. I'll take your mic. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's because I know Spider-Man. If you know Spider-Man, you're going to win. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I, I truly have no idea if anything I said was on B. I couldn't hear it. The clap. It was. I'm not gonna lie, dude. It was really good. That was Wasn't pretty good. It? That was pretty good. Yeah. It was. It, I don't know. It reminded me of like an episode of Family Guy. Like you know when they yeah. do like a song. Yeah. That's exactly yeah, what that yeah, was. What you're talking about. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's do this. Who else wants to be a contestant? Throw a hand up. I saw a hand. That was the first one I saw. Go for it. Come on up here. Give it up, y'all. Bang bang. This is fun because normally it's really completely just random number generator, but now we have people that like have seen what is coming up. Wire. How you doing? Perfect. Um, I'm myself now. <laughs> okay, that's no, my red flag. <laughs> that's a green you know flag. Just don't pick I don't know me. Let's just end about. right here. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Sapphire. Sapphire. Yeah. All right. Pleasure to meet you. Are you here with a significant other? No. Mm. No, he's in Scotland. So. Oh, you, <laughs> ah. All right, so you have one. Yeah. All right, again, you got to kick him to the curb. <laughs> What's well, what are you looking for? Somebody with good sense of humor. Mm. Mm. Um, okay. Somebody who will travel the world with me. Um, Sounds like the yeah, overnight I mean, channel. It's always nice. It's always nice to be treated like a princess. So I'll go for that one as well. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Any anything else that you want to add in mind? You know, like we're just really trying to. Prepare ourselves to be uh, your perfect person. I mean, you know, if you're a ghost hunter, that's going to be good. <laughs> that's it, babe. That actually is. You basically just said yeah. Corey won. Uh, <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right. Should I go first this time? Oh, no. Yeah, you should definitely go first. <laughs> no, this is lovely. Again, you'd like to be treated like a princess. Yeah. They live in castles, mansions, and I happen to live 
and a mansion made out of flowers. Okay. <laughs> Magical, isn't it? You wanted a ghost hunter, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect, because I can see and talk to all spirits walking on earth. <laughs> okay, yeah. If I lose this round. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. Uh, <laughs> the only weird thing about me is, is fine, uh, is that <laughs> I have to reverse the pull of gravity every time you talk to a friend or family member. Oh, well, that's a... Yeah, yeah, you can definitely overlook that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any friends or family? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have any. Oh, oh great. great. <laughs> do, we, do you want to just leave? <laughs> Wait, that's it. Well, what did you say you get to reverse the, <laughs> the pull? I reverse the, the so pull. So, like, yeah, if you talk to dad, everyone floats. You talk to mom, everyone plummets. Like, I just reverse it. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, that could be fun. You know, you get to float around a bit. <laughs> no! You see how high this is? You'd be dead! No way! That's, that's, it, that's terrible! Live in a mansion made of flowers. I can see, talk to every spirit. Though. It seems impractical? Well, yeah, if you try and climb the stairs, you're just going to go through it. Oh, no, mm. these are condensed yeah. There's flowers. There's a lot of risk for falling and injuring yourself <laughs> in this relationship. Yeah, what if it rains? That's the red flag. <laughs> what if it rains? Yeah, what if it rains? Then my house grows bigger. <laughs> That's how photosynthesis works. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we get a bigger house. Okay. Who's Corbin? next? Okay, so you said that you have a house that's made of flowers. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna step that one up. Okay, because my farts smell like flowers. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Wait, way. That means my house smells like your farts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a green flag on the first one. That's your green <laughs> That's a green flag. <laughs> Just to let you guys know. Okay. All right. I have the greatest d of all time. <laughs> Who is writing these? <laughs> Who does wrote that? Does it actually say d It literally says d yes. Come on, y'all. <laughs> it molds to whatever shape and size you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You know what's the weirdest part about that? We've gotten that one before. What? We've literally gotten that one like show eight or nine. We did in in August. So there what's are up there with are the there overnight are people, demographic. <laughs> there are people on? attending these shows that are like, oh, that's what yeah. I want. <laughs> oh, All God. right, you want to hear the red flag? Oh. Okay. When we go bar hopping, we have to bring the shadow man every Friday night, <laughs> even on the holidays. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't sound that bad to me, to be honest. The shadow man? The you want to go bar hopping with the shadow man? I'm going to get belligerent anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's an experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait. And it seems like you like that kind of stuff. That's why you're here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you're into those type of experiences. So even that red flag is not necessarily a red flag. What happens when the shadow man blacks out? Does he turn white? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You know? Yeah. Yeah, can we get him drunk? Mm. That's the... Uh... Oh, <laughs> if we could, that's an experience in yeah. itself. <laughs> let me just start it off with this. I want to let you know that every single date that we ever go on, you know how some couples are like, hey, you want to get this one? Should I get this one? I pay for it every single time for the rest of our lives because I love you. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's Aww. like just standard. That's normal. That seems like what you... That's your green flag? That's a green flag for you? You had a mansion, right? Mm-hmm. That's pretty... Still do. That's not past cute. Tense. That's still, cute. Still a, mansion. a mansion. A mansion. A mansion. Well, guess what? I have 19 mansions in a neighborhood that spells out your name. <laughs> wow. So what name is that? <laughs> oh! That's a loss. That's a loss I right there. I was reading there. the note when you walk. Okay. <laughs> Whisper it. Fire. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Idiot. I mean, um, most um, people think it's quite memorable, but fine. <laughs> Corey's not going to win this one. <laughs> Corey's not winning this one. Yes, I am. Why? Because I don't care about anything you have to say unless it's related to cannibalism. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> okay. But that's just my red flag. Yeah, that's, that's not that bad. No, that's right. Fine. That's, that's, that's pretty, fine. I ever talk about anyway. <laughs> See? See? I don't know if I want to be in this relationship anymore. <laughs> let me let me ask you this. Uh, where do you want to travel to? Mm. Well, actually, here, here's a different question. What are your hopes and dreams? Happiness. Happiness. You know what's so <laughs> funny about you saying what your hopes and dreams are in happiness? He doesn't give a no. <laughs> no. Because it wasn't about cannibalism. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to bury you. I don't care if Cor- yeah. or Corbin gets away. I'm not letting you get it. That's why you couldn't remember my name. It's got nothing to do with Cannibal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she's, <laughs> defend- she's defending you. <laughs> why? <laughs> okay, I remind you, you said you a ghost hunter, right? Yep. I can talk to any spirit. I bring the shadow Earth. man every Friday. That's one. That's one. I can talk to him whenever the f- I want, Corbin. No. All you get is one dude without a face. I can get any spirit you want. So if I want to speak to the spirit of a deceased family member, is Easy. gravity going to change? <laughs> oh, oh sh- that was intense. nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yes. Elton. Yes, it will. Okay. <laughs> but is that something you want to do? I mean, doesn't everybody? You have a choice between any celebrity that passed away, and you would want to talk. I really love my granddad. <laughs> <laughs> well, based on how long you talk to him for, people will keep on floating. <laughs> oh. Should we have any closing statements? Uh, that was mine. Oh, no, that was that's it. <laughs> that was it. That was the okay. <laughs> the fact that out of all the spirits in the world, you said granddad. I'm. F- I, I got nothing here. Yeah. So you're. F- he can't remember her name. <laughs> and my farts smell like flowers. Corey, <laughs> I think we know who's going to win this Corey one. Corey actually has no idea what we're talking about because we've never yeah. said the word cannibalism. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Do you have your mind made up or do you have any further questions? I mean, I kind of want to start a show tune, but I don't know how to make that happen again. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to either. Okay, what are you thinking? I mean, are you even going to know what I say? It depends what you say. <laughs> Cannibalism. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm thinking it's quite an obvious choice, but... And what is that choice? No. <laughs> really? What, what choice is I it? I think I'm going to have to go with Colby. Yeah! <laughs> Yes! Wait, wait, which Let's name? go! No, wait, you both think your names were said. What? You literally both think your names are... Why are you cheering for... you? Wait, wait, who'd you say? Corbin. Oh! <laughs> no! Of course you wouldn't know that. It wasn't about cannibalism. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> He just saw someone getting excited when I'm hungry. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you for coming on stage. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll take your mic. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you so much, Sapphire. That That was funny. (laughs) Okay. The core team wins. (laughs) Yeah. What are you going to do? Shut up. All right. Uh, (laughs) Let's do this. If you win... You have to combine all of your attributes at the end and become one person. (laughs) Okay, okay. So remember all of your attributes that you were. And then you become that one person and have to do a one-minute monologue. Oh, God. For why everyone here should date you. (laughs) Okay. All right, we might do that. If you win, that's if you win. If you win, that's your reward. Hand up if you want to do this. (laughs) Saw a hand right there. This is just the first one I saw. Give it up, y'all. Oh, boy. Come on around. Dude, at some point, if we keep doing this game, we got to create, like, music. Like, I have two mics in my hand. Oh, you're already sucking up? No! Well, I don't know if I was going to grab you as the best opening line. What is your name, by the way? Corey Listen? 
Uh, Sienna. Sienna. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, nice to meet you. That's a very pretty name. <laughs> what a suck up. <laughs> Try to win this. One, do you have a, a partner currently? Oh, no, I don't. You don't. No. So you're open. Yeah. And then what are you looking for in your next partner? Very... Who is sitting on stage right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you terrifying. signed the contract when you came in. <laughs> you now leave with one of us. <laughs> what are you looking for? Very specific. Um, skater boy. <laughs> skater boy? Skater Wait, boy. Oh, 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 <laughs> this guy's out. <laughs> I can double kickflip. He can. <laughs> On a trampoline. That's no. the only time I've ever seen you do that. Oh, yeah, that's how you practice. Oh, okay. You don't want to get a, you don't want to get a boo-boo. Mm, <laughs> what else are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, just skater boy chilling. <laughs> uh, someone who dances as well. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, someone who loves the paranormal as well. Someone like me. Ooh. A skater that dances and loves the paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else that isn't explicitly about him? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab out. Thank okay. You. You're welcome. Right. Oh, boy. All right. Should I go first? Because I've already read mine. Yes. Okay, um, let me ask you this. What kind of music do you like? Uh, Chase and Antic, if anyone knows that. Same, same here, actually. Yeah. What, other, what other music do you like? Uh, Little Peep, um, Linkin Park. Yeah, I like them too, um, yeah. You know why? Because we have the exact same taste in music. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, right? Everything you listen to, I also love it. Any concert, I'm in. Red flag. I want to be there. <laughs> Here's another great thing about me. I actually won Aladdin's magic carpet in a charity auction and can use it whenever. So you want to go see Chase Atlantic? Yep. We'll just chase them right across the Atlantic <laughs> on our magic carpet, okay? Here's the only small problem that maybe you'll, I don't know, it depends. Like, I don't know what you're into. I don't know if you're open, but I happen to have 666 demonic side chicks. So That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I got That's it. fine, she says. <laughs> Did you really? That's fine. She's into that. Perfect. <laughs> we got hoes in every single area code. <laughs> you and I. 600, and they're all demonic too, you know? So well, I'm gonna, my girlfriend's here. I'm going to shut the up right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's just start it off with... Uh, I donate one million dollars to the charity of your choice every single week. Yeah. Every week. I mm. like that one. Y'all are supposed to like clap or something. <laughs> <laughs> we charity! Got it. You're rich. We get it. Speaking of being rich, oh. also take your family on all paid for vacations to Hawaii twice a year. My mom will like that. See? Yeah. But See? Would, would you? Do you want to go on vacation with your family? Wanna, no. <laughs> now, me neither. No. Twice a year? Mm. Two weeks in Hawaii? He with also your family? didn't say anywhere else. He just said Hawaii, so every year it's going to be twice to Hawaii. I want to go anybody. everywhere, so. Just Hawaii. Yikes. Mm. That's it. You know why? He's yeah. giving away all his money. He can't take you anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's look at the plus side. I constantly wipe my butt on the carpet like a dog. <laughs> now, I feel as though if anyone were to look up the definition of the word constantly, I would say that's probably somewhere around once every two to three minutes. Who cares? So if you want to stay on stage for a few more minutes... <laughs> Let's we, speed this up. <laughs> I think that was my favorite red flag. <laughs> oh, what about God. you, Corbin? What about me? Yeah. Oh, well, I can just teleport and bring you with me anytime. Okay. So I'm a looper. Is that kind of like a tosser? In a, <laughs> here, maybe. It's, I have this special ability to never have to shower, and I'm always ready whenever you are, and you are always exactly how you want to look or dress. So apparently I'm fashionable as well. That's good. Okay. Yeah. That's I think cool. that was, uh, they are. They are. Like they never have to shower. So I can just, okay, so I have to shower. 
Yes. <laughs> All right, so I just sprinkle you and you're just ready. To, that's okay. actually a plus for, for the guy too because then you never have to wait. That's, <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's actually kind of cool. Last one, Annabelle lives under our bed and you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is Annabelle in the box? Or is Annabelle just free living underneath your bed? Annabelle's in the goddamn box. I get to choose. <laughs> She's in a shoe box. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. when, did you, when did you get these Nikes? <laughs> like, I mean, she can come out if she wants. Oh. I don't care. So you like that? Yeah. Okay, well, then that's not even a By red the way, flag then. I don't know if you know this. Annabelle, demonic, one of my side chicks. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> It doesn't matter. She's <laughs> under her bed <laughs> That's every why, night. Yeah, she's not even a side chick. She's side and underneath chick. <laughs> Under chick. I don't even know how to defend myself. I wipe my butt on the floor. <laughs> Swear yeah, it. what do you think about Wait, that? Wait, speaking of, it's been mm. three it's minutes. Been three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a total turnoff? Kind of. Because what if we're at like a restaurant or something? Oh, <laughs> You're just man. whipping it out and... Just rubbing it out in the restaurant, is that what you just said? <laughs> Let's go to the next question. Yo, in America, rub one out means something way different than what you just said. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tossing! <laughs> that sounded like a text tone. <laughs> it sounded like a doorbell. Yeah. <laughs> Tossing! <laughs> What do knocks sound like? Huh? Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> She's also right, though. You can't go to any restaurant. I can go to any restaurant. Or I can. Or meet my family. I can. <laughs> we can do all of that. We just have to get past the sh carpet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm itchy. <laughs> Everyone itches. <laughs> I'm not helping myself at all. I'm just letting you bury yourself <laughs> right now. Okay. All right. Any uh, any questions? Is your mind made up, or um, you know, can I sway you any different way? You, you, know, you want me to introduce me. you to Medusa? Oh yeah. Yeah. Medusa. Yeah. Yeah, Medusa. Yeah, but then she turned to stone. No, it's only men that turn to stone. Only men. Yeah. Mm hmm Interesting. That's why she's one of my side chicks. <laughs> 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 Got to keep her over there. <laughs> Can't look at her. <laughs> Oh, any questions or anything? Not that I can think of, no. All I know is that you said you want to travel, and I can pretty much take us to anywhere at any point at any time. Same. What? Yeah. Magic carpet. I have Aladdin's magic carpet. <laughs> it's so much I longer. Can, I, I can show you the world. She has to wear a jacket every time you go out. For me, it's just literally we're there in the blink of an eye. Yeah, but sometimes it's more about the journey than it is about the destination. Not when you're... 20,000 feet above the earth. No, it's a magic carpet. I don't have to go what, up. Are you going to be like 10 feet above the ground? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, look, well, are you going to be on, pissing it's, on it's the funny, side of the It's funny because you said you wanted a skater boy, right? Well, now you and I, magic carpet just f***ing <laughs> shredding oh. across the ocean. Mm. <laughs> I do got to let you know, though, I owned that carpet before he did. Oh, God. So. <laughs> and guess what? That's how it became magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. What are you feeling? Hopefully not whatever he is, because it's, it's a little weird. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go with Elton. This yeah. One. Wow. <laughs> it's because of the carpet. You evened it out. It's because of the carpet. Yeah. It was I the carpet. It. The freaking Thank carpet. Thank you, Sienna. Appreciate it. Thank you. Round of applause yeah. for your time. Thank Thank you. Wow. Even though... That was a good one. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Even though a, I yeah, rubbed my so butt on your carpet, you still won. Yo, know, the weird shit we said with Jesus just... Yo, know, Jesus is like, why? Dude, I'm waiting for one of us to tell a joke and he deflates. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> or he just turns and looks at us, falls back. Okay, it's, it's a one, one, one tie. Yeah, we need right a tiebreaker. And I think, yeah, I think the next round should be the round. Yeah. The final yeah. round. And so then, this round takes it. And then remember who you were, because <laughs> if Dude, you... Dude, I had a head injury. I'm, there's no chance I'm going to remember anything five <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> All right. We're going to do one more person who wants to go. I saw a hand right there. Let's I got I to gotta ask, how old are you? Mm, yeah, I don't think we can do it with you. I think you're oh. under it. Yeah. You, you have to be. 
<laughs> Where, where's the mom? You come on stage too. <laughs> Get us a chair. Okay. What's, what, what are your names? Sarah and Courtney. Sarah and Courtney. Remember right. that, Corey. Now, are, are you with anyone? Do you have a husband, partner? Husband. Okay. Uh, she needs a new dad. <laughs> Describe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking for? Caring, loving, supportive. What else, Courtney? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you looking for in a new d- father? Oh. Um, uh, yes, I was very, yes, oh I auto corrected. Yes. Oh you my all Lord. saw my brain go, no, shut the <laughs> f- up, Elton. Someone that like, makes my mom happy. Aww. <laughs> okay. That's uh, good. I just want to remind you that you watched the first three rounds. Yeah. <laughs> one of which was has a perfect d- <laughs> and you said you know what parental consent go ahead honey and I'm coming with you oh boy I just want to remind you because we oh don't know boy. what these say <laughs> yeah it's fine <laughs> okay you can change your mind you can back out now no it's fine oh it's fine. boy <gasps> I'm sure she's had worse <laughs> who's, who's going first she has to you know pick what? her dad <laughs> She has to pick her dad. <laughs> she has to pick her dad. You. <laughs> Yo, that's literally Jerry Springer, but in a really weird way. <laughs> you are not the father. You are not the f- You are the... Okay. Um, well, let's start it off uh, with this. Who's your favorite band of all time? Um, Linkin Park. Oh. Linkin oh. Park? Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm the lead singer of Lincoln Park. <laughs> they you're, need one. You're dead, dude. No, 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 they needed one. <laughs> you're dead. Your father is dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy, though, is I know a guy that was here earlier who could speak to you whenever he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this isn't helping. Um, okay. Well, guess what? I'm also secretly a superhero that can fly. It's a pretty cool dad, well, yeah, right? Because you're an angel now. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a superhero. You're dead. I hate to break it to you, but you're not alive. Wait, can anymore. he still do like magical things? Like, can he can he do things that superheroes can do? Like, can he save the day? I could just fly. That's it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, this is pretty cool. Just to top it all off, I only wear matching Hawaiian shirts and shorts. <laughs> Woo! I, dad mode. I That's like, very dad. I feel like you might have won if you weren't dead. <laughs> yeah. You know what's kind of weird is that just that last card. I mean, it has to be like a dad, and that's the most dad thing I've heard. I know. Out of all these cards. I and know. like my dad, not around. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's move along here. Um, Everyone say, but- aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dad. I can make the joke. <laughs> I, I think, I, think I, should, I should probably go for the next one. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you said one of the number one things was safety, mm-hmm. right? And that they would be supporting. Yeah. Well, nothing bad can ever happen to you while I'm around. Also, I'm a contortionist in the, cir- in the circus, which means I'm very bendy. <laughs> <laughs> It's the very bendy that made it weird. (laughs) And I'm also your cousin. (laughs) Honestly, please pick him and invite me to the family reunion. (laughs) It sounds so much fun. I was going to say, in the States, that sounds like a normal dad. (laughs) Alabama. Elton? (sighs) Let me just say this. Did you grow up on Pokemon? No, not really. (laughs) Do you like cute animals? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, uh, I am best friends with the actual Pikachu. Oh. Oh, 
okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Cool. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not losing to this cousin. <laughs> Family matters. And here's the thing. <laughs> He's your cousin contortionist. Right? And he... And he <laughs> And he's very, very bendy. I'm one better because I can shape shift to look like any person you want me to. That's good. So if one night you're like, hey, I want you to look like my cousin. <laughs> gotcha. Oh That's terrible. You're a shape shifter. <laughs> yeah. That's awful. Why? Because we never know who you actually are. What if you're shaping into somebody else? Oh. I mean, I'm me right now. Yeah. Are you? How yeah. do we know that? Sing for us. <laughs> <sighs> you know how you can tell it's really me? Because Pikachu only recognizes the real me. And best friends can always see through the bull. Okay. Best friends always know if you're hurting on the inside just by looking at you, right? So if Pika answers me, Pika knows it's me. And, uh, wow. Uh, apparently, I'm, uh, I'm me. Huh? What do you mean? Mm? I'm a popular YouTuber... But secretly, I'm actually a demon cursing everyone who watches my videos. <laughs> I'm just me, dude. That's pretty good. I mean, I put the warning in the one Warren Museum video, but all the others, you're f uh, <laughs> So I'm a shape-shifting YouTuber, yeah. which means I might be all of the YouTubers. Yeah. You never know who I am. Mr. Beast! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, best friends with actual Pikachu, shapeshift to whoever you want. You know what I mean? Marriages, they're long. They can get stale. They can get boring. You want Ryan Reynolds? Boom. Mm -hmm. Ryan Reynolds. That's very true. You want Brad Pitt? Done. Harry mm -hmm. Styles? No problem. You want to change it up? Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> Whatever it is. You want to experiment? I got you. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you want to sum yours up real quick? I don't even know what technically, to say. Technically, it's your choice for your mom. So what are you thinking yeah. right now? Oh, boy. You can ask more questions, too. You don't have to pick yet. So if you have more questions, feel free. What is she going to... I'm Corbin, the contorting cousin. <laughs> <laughs> what is she going to ask? And remember, I have some pretty cool Hawaiian shirts <laughs> that no one can see because you're dead. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to you know how you can end? tell when you're around oh. as a ghost? How? Because you're crawling in their skin. <laughs> Terrible. Get off the stage. I think, what, she I, said, I, think, I think she came up with who she wants. Ellen. Yeah! <laughs> wow. 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 Was it because of the matching Hawaiian shirt and shorts? Is that what it was? Yeah. Was it because I'm your cousin? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you to the both of you. I appreciate it. Are you happy with your choice, by the way? Are you happy with your choice? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> she's Wait, lying. she's lying? She wanted the cousin. She, she wanted. <laughs> it's because of the Hawaiian shirt. I know. <laughs> wow. What a game. So, dude, I wish the cousin would have been the dad. That, I, I know. Yeah. We know who would have took that game in Kentucky. <laughs> Sorry. I knew you were going to say that too. <laughs> Oh, okay, should we get into the stories? Should we get to the paranormal part of the show? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so these are all stories that have been submitted by you. Uh, we also make sure that before we read the story that we make sure you're here. So the reason why we do this is a live show and the reason why we don't have people submit stories and then just kind of like read them at home and I guess react to them is because after we're done reading, we can't really learn anymore. So now the beauty of it is we can read the story and then bring the person on stage and actually talk to them, ask them questions, learn a little bit more about what happened, how they're feeling, the follow-ups. And a lot of times people are holding back a lot more details as to what happened. The other beauty of it is, is that if we were to just read these at home, you would just see a story and have no idea who wrote it. But now you know 
that the person who wrote the story is a real person that's sitting before you and lives somewhat in your community. And the goal of that is to hopefully make it a little less taboo to have people open up about their paranormal experiences when you realize you're in a room full of people that have probably had them. So that's kind of the point of it and why we read these and why we bring everyone on stage. We like to kind of always put that precursor out. And then, yes, we will probably make jokes along the way. Uh, so. <laughs> you want to go first? You're reading the second one, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll read the first one then. Hmm. Corey, hmm. I wrote a note on here for you. It says that it's a good story to act out. Because <laughs> there's a lot of detail in this story. And look, I already had to perform earlier. I had to do show tunes. I kind of performed, right? I, <laughs> I tap dance with Jesus. Do you... I feel like, and also Corbin has never acted out a story. You've done a few shows with us. It's a good thing I'm a contortionist. So how about this? You want to act out this one. I've already done a performance. You act out this one. Corbin acts out the next one. What? No, wait, wait, wait. It's a one-man show? Yep. No! Yep. Okay. If we did it together, I think that would be better. How about this? You can do this one together, but the next one you have to do on your own. Oh, my gosh. We'll see. I want to see how you Are do you guys, no, Should we do that? Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's do it. it. Right, shake on it. No. I never touch your hand. Shake on it. <laughs> no. Shake on it. No. Yeah, cousin f shake on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that just let's means you. Let's dance. Oh, you're doing it. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now, right? Uh, okay. okay, let's go. Let's okay. go. And then the next one. I don't know about alone. The next one you're on your own. Because the next one, Corey's reading, and then I've already, I've already at performed tonight. No, you did not. You said you weren't going to dance. That's why you brought him on. You had to do it together, too. I danced. So then if it's the next one and he's reading, you and I should do it. My hips were moving like Jagger. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, his singing was pretty beautiful. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you want to do this on your own and then make Corbin do the next one on his own? No. Yeah. Yeah. No! Yeah. yeah. I think that's yeah. only fair. I think that's fair. That's fair, right? Okay. All right. Okay. I, I didn't know we were going to do this, okay? No, none of us did. I'll read it nice and slow. No. <laughs> I'm gonna, no, I'm going to give you time to bring this story to life. I want everyone here to be able to see exactly what this person saw Don't touch in this story. Okay. Why are you standing like Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I was about six years old, and we were living in an old Navy house at the time. Little things would happen in the house at the start, like wardrobe doors being opened. The loft lid had been opened and moved, and the, s moved. <laughs> and the smell of toast burning. Little did I know, things would take a massive change. I was asleep one night in my, in my small bedroom. My very small bedroom. The smallest bedroom I have ever seen. <laughs> Which had a single bed and a little cupboard at the end of the room. I would have to reach the cupboard with my toes. And if I wanted a glass of water, I would have to get it between my feet. This is not a <laughs> <laughs> Oh! No, it's, 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 a, it's real. It's, That's real! I added that part, though. Oh. No, I, it's, it's a real story. I just added that part. I just added that part. He was in a little, she was in a little room. In a little room, and there was a cupboard, and I added a little detail. I woke up one night to a girl standing at the ed, end of my bed, staring at me. I remember looking first and thinking, at a young age, this must be in my head. This must be in my head. <laughs> <laughs> but I was awake. And this was real. I would... I would scream. Oh, sorry, I thought I was going to do it for you, my bad. You guys did that both at the same time. 
That was crazy. <laughs> I would scream and hide until my mom came to my room. And suddenly, she was gone. <gasps> this used to happen night after night. I would, when will it end? I would be in my tiny room, on my bed, and I would see the woman at the end, and I would scream for my mom. Mom! And night after... <laughs> it happened again. Another night, I would be in my bed, I would see the lady, and I would scream for my mom. Mom! <laughs> it's a loop. <laughs> this used to happen night after night after night after night for months. It was awful. I remember my mom saying, my room always used to be cold. When the rest of the house was warm. Anyway, this one night in particular, the same thing happened. I woke up and she was stood at the end of my bed, just there, staring at me. <gasps> when suddenly, something happened that never did before. She disappeared. Where did she go? <laughs> she disappeared at the bottom of the bed, scurried along the side, and popped up right next to me at the side of my bed. This is what it says. I quite frankly <laughs> my pants. <laughs> show us, show us. <laughs> That was the last time I ever saw her. Time had gone by and still hadn't seen any more of this girl. Weird things would still happen throughout the house though. The fridge is floating. <laughs> My brother and I would see people coming in and out of each other's rooms all the time. The last thing I remember in that house was one of the worst and the last things I remember. I woke up in the middle of the night to what I can only describe as an awful cackling laugh coming, <laughs> coming from my wardrobe at the end of the room. It truly was an awful cackling laugh. <laughs> and I heard it at the wardrobe at the end of my room. But the next night, I heard the same cackling laugh, but this time from down the hall. Corey, you're gonna hate this? Each night, I would hear this awful cackling laugh. One night coming from my wardrobe. And the next night, coming from the hall. <laughs> the worst. The worst one was when I heard the cackling come from our attic. <laughs> and even though I heard it in the attic, it seemed to be cackling from just above my bed.
Look, you're gonna hate this too. I wish. <laughs> what? Say it. And worse than the night when she disappeared and scurried along the side of my bed and popped up next to me, this night she cackled from above my bed and jumped down onto it. <laughs> I would do it. I'm crying right now for the record. (laughs) He's right there. What do you want? (laughs) And again, I screamed. (laughs) And my mom's partner came into my room. He heard it too. And this is how I know I wasn't crazy. He walked over to the wardrobe, and the literal second he put his hand on the doorknob, it stopped. It stopped. <laughs> he said, nothing is inside there. Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great right now, dude. Is that the end? No. That's not even the end. We're not, we're not done. Oh there's more. God. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Years go by. <laughs> and lots of things still happen to our family. We still hear the cackling. Sound like an old man who stubbed his toe, but doesn't want anyone to know he's in pain. <laughs> ah. <laughs> old men's faces appear in front of my face. My little sister sees. <laughs> my little sister sees a mom and her daughter Jessica in her room, and having conversations with them, which we heard through the monitor. An evil voice coming through the baby monitor when my sister was little, seeing my mom downstairs in the kitchen when she was actually up there. Me mom's up there. (laughs) And so much more. Even, (laughs) Even dog spirits that turn up in orb form. Dog? Yep, even dog spirits that turn up in orb form. (laughs) <laughs> it's actually just Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I know that sounds mad, but I promise you, I'm not crazy. I swear. <laughs> I got pictures to prove it. Round of applause for Corey. There, there's, that, that, that was insane. And Holly, would you please mind joining us on stage, please? God. Give it up for Holly, y'all. Woo! Come on around. Holly, one, Hi. nice to meet you. Two, <laughs> nice thank you for sharing your story. That's, I was questioning if it was mine at times. I was like, I swear I didn't put this in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, what did you add? Your, the- your house doesn't have an attic? <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm literally it, it sweating right now. I'm sweating right now. <laughs> You're dripping sweat. I'm dripping tears of joy. Oh. It was like reliving it. It was great. <laughs> was it exactly how it happened? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Bit the bit. <laughs> what? Yeah. So does Snoop Dogg really haunt your crib? <laughs> <laughs> no, he haunts the cribs. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. Thank you. All oh, right. Nice. So, there's a lot here. Mm. What do, what did the cackling sound like? So, for me, I've, like, been scared of clowns since it. Because, like, when it happened, to me, it was, like, kind of what I've, like, you'd interpret as, like, a clown laughing. So, it was like, oh, God, I should have done I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you, you did. Oh, okay. It was like... 
like, like, like green, that that green goblin. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that kind of sounds like the the wicked witch, uh, wicked witch of the west. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 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 No, it sounds like <laughs> Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. clown like cackling. Mm, and you yeah. would see this lady night after night after night after night for months. Yeah, did literally. You ever, did you ever figure out who the lady was? No, never. We never found out. So it was just, yeah, every night it was just always at the end of the bed, but never did anything, just always like stood there. Hmm. Um, and yeah, that last night was when. She, it like, she went down at the side and then came up. That was like the first time she ever did anything, but then like the last time I ever saw it as well. Um, but yeah, we never found out. We were all like, I was, yeah, about six at the time. So they never kind of, maybe they did and just never said anything, but it was like an old Navy house. So it was really, really old in there. Was she fast when she did that, when she came to the mm, other side? Yeah, yeah it's it pretty was, quick. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's scary. By Navy house, you mean like Navy military? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was just describing the color. Oh. <laughs> and then someone else heard, who else heard it? Was your, your, your mom's partner? Yeah, so he heard the laugh. So that's why like, you, we always think, don't you think, nah, it's just, you know, in your head. But when he came in, he heard it as well. And as soon as he, because the wardrobe was at, like, at, the, at the end of the bed. So then when he walked over to it, the second his hand went on the doorknob, just stopped completely. Yeah. And it was always weird because it wasn't like a built in wardrobe to like anything. It was, you know, just little thing that you buy from fucking Ikea or something. I don't know. So it wasn't like it was like in the house as such. Mm. So that's why it was always so weird that it came from that, that place. Do you know where you guys bought it from? <laughs> no. So no, no. It could have something along with it. So was the wardrobe haunted? I think the whole house, to be honest. Okay, like, okay, yeah, okay. like I was like, did somebody play the Ouija board at IKEA and then they <laughs> sold it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, the whole house, like the loft lid and everything as well, it'd be picked up, moved, and like dropped back down. So like instead of it being covered, it was like had gaps everywhere in it, and mm. you needed ladders to get up to it all the time. Hmm. And then more hauntings after has it gone away are you still experiencing to this day all these strange phenomena no so it it kind of went on so when we left that house um it kind of nothing happened for a little while and then when we moved in it kind of always happened when there was like feel like negative energy so like any kind of arguments or if people were upset in our house that's when like things kind of started to stir um, so when we moved, we would have constant like running up and down the stairs um, and under the stairs, it was like a little gap where we found out the previous owners, um, their dog used to lay in it. So when we then knew that, it was kind of made sense with like the running up and down the stairs at night. Like my mum would come out of her room like with a baseball bat thinking like someone was in the house half wow. the time. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That orb thing, I actually have the picture and it's so they found out because it was on the, it was actually a Halloween night and we were dressed up and you can see it on like my brother's cloak that he was wearing and you zoom into it and it sounds mad but it looks like a Jack Russell dog. Yeah. Was and that what they had? The uh, They had a Jack Russell. No way. No yeah. way. Wow. So yeah. the orb, the misting floating orb, mm. you could see. Yeah, like if you zoom into it, it looks like a dog's face. It, it's it's mad. It's weird. It's really weird. Wow. Mm. If that dog's name was Snoop, I would lose my <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That would be insane. Yeah. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Yeah. And how long ago did you leave that house? Oh, gosh, about... Lily, how long? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's ago, it. That. That's not that long ago. Mm. You ever had a desire to go back, but mm. prod and see? Yeah, I guess so. Because, you know, you experience it all there. And then the house we're in now, we don't really have much anymore. Um, but we moved from that house and we were just in a place for about six months. And that was when I came in one day, I saw my mum in the kitchen, but I just went straight upstairs. But then she was actually in her room. So that was really weird because like to me, it's like, you know, you're not just seeing like a shadowy figure or anything. It was, to me, that was my mum in the kitchen. But she wasn't. When I went up, she was then in her room. What did that make you feel right when you saw that your mom was actually in your room? So obviously, yeah, when I first went in, I was like, oh, mom's a kitchen call, went up. And then when she's there, I was like, I literally just stopped. I was like, what the, like, yeah. what? I just stood and I was like, have you just come up? She's like, no, I've been, I heard you come in. I've been in here since, since what? she came in. 
Mm. So it wasn't even point. it wasn't mm. even in your peripherals that you actually literally stared at this person and then went up and your mm. mom was yeah wow. yeah that's crazy yeah so like a doppelganger spirit yeah. yeah yeah that's the one I always find like the hardest to explain because it like you say it's not just like a shadowy thing or someone random that was my mom and it, it was, yeah wow. that's really I mean that's you have like full bodied apparitions mm. you have poltergeist activity with objects moving yeah you have orbs that are being able to mate out to animals and shapes mm. and then you have the doppelganger activity all in one house and you don't live there anymore so we can't go right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say yeah. we should find out where this is yeah. do you know the people that live there now um no you should no. just send them a facebook message let me write it just, yeah. hey, so the house you live in yeah, might be a bit haunted. <laughs> Just detail everything out with pictures. Yeah, no, it was it was crazy, and that, uh, that's why I thought like the first house we were in, it was then interesting to know the previous people had like those things that actually happened, but in their everyday lives, and then obviously we were then experiencing it kind of when they were gone. So it, yeah, really weird. How far do you live from that house now? Is it far? Um, so from where we are now, no, it's about 10 minutes down the road. Oh, oh you have to. You mm. should totally just go knock on the door with a bunch of ghost tools. And you're like, <laughs> you're never going to believe this. <laughs> Can I just come in and just speak to the ghosts? <laughs> I, do, I wonder if they would let you. Do you think they would let you? No. I don't know. No. I don't know who they are. I've never, never no? met them. I don't think so. No? You're going to let a complete stranger who says they used to live in the same house just <laughs> knock on your door and go, I got a bunch of tools to summon demons, and just walk in. They're not going to let that happen. No, you don't do you, you show that. You could show them Corey's performance first, and then you should say, mm. this is your house. Yeah, this is what happened here. This is here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, I'm, I don't believe you that that happened. Well, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> If that doesn't make you believe, I don't know what will. <laughs> exactly. I mean, this started when you said you were six, right? Yeah. So I was going to ask prior to that, did you believe? But I mean, there was no real prior to that. Yeah. So I assume you believe in the paranormal yeah. realm. Yeah. And I think like when you have it, like when you're younger, like there's no way that you can't believe in it. Like I feel like if I didn't maybe experience something till now, I'd be like, oh, I've gone you know, 23 years, nothing else has happened before. Like, that must be, just be a fluke, a one-off type thing. But when, you know, from the age of six to up until, like, recently, we constantly have had stuff happen. Yeah, I've never not believed in it. And you said this happened night after night after night for months. Your mm -hmm. mom knew. Mm -hmm. Did anyone ever go to get any form of help? Not that I know of, no. My mom slept in my room a few times to see if, like, it would happen to her. Did it? Um, no. Never did. But she always said that room was just freezing. Like, such a difference. So you guys were serious about, about what happened. And, and mm. wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, she'd like to try and sleep in, see if, yeah, she experienced anything. She never saw it, but she saw... The only thing my mum ever saw in that house was in her room. She just kind of saw, like, the side of someone, like, walk past her door once. Like, you know when your arm swings when you move? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the only thing that she ever saw in that mm. house, but... Yeah, she, she's kind of seen orbs and bits like that. Um, and we had, it was kind of weird actually. So she saw a black orb once, which I didn't actually know were a thing. And when we looked it up, apparently it says like a black orb is like a warning of something to happen. Um, and then a few days later, my mum's partner's uncle ended up in hospital. Mm. Wow. Yeah, Jeez. that was weird. It's mm. like a bad omen. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like a pre-warning of something to happen, apparently. Well, if you ever get access to the house again, mm. let us know. Okay, I will. We'll, we'll time it out with our next visit to the UK. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for, for sharing your story. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. And thanks for letting us reenact it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. A round you. of applause. I can't do that. Yeah, it's your turn. I can't do what he did. You can try. <laughs> a deal is a deal, right? Shouldn't he have to still... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, do that thing where and you ask a, everybody. A deal is a pop. deal. All right. All right. <laughs> Wait, can we make a deal for him because it's his first time acting it out? Yeah. Don't take as many liberties as I did. Okay. Just read it, like, exactly the way, like... I feel like it's fair. Like, we, should, we shouldn't f*** with you. Well, it's also, it's, it's also, like, a, it's a scary story, so I feel like I... I don't know. It's yeah, I, I just... I don't know. 
We'll let you. You're already nervous. We'll just have you act it out. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that I'm nervous. Look, it makes me we nervous. We can all see how nervous you are right now. I'm not shaking. To do this performance. Okay. You ready? <sighs> all right. Here we go. This story might be a little long. <laughs> But this is truly the day that made me believe. Why are you looking at us? I, I, yeah, act it out. You have a. Sorry. <laughs> Perfect. I'm 42 right now. <laughs> what? Excuse me? told me to act it out how I want to act it out. That's how I want to act it out. I think Tom Brady is more than 42. <laughs> I can tell you right now that when I'm 42, I'm going to be doing this. My back hurts already. <laughs> <laughs> but at the time, I was only seven. <laughs> what an insightful seven-year-old. Whatever will I eat for lunch, I wonder? Is it pizza or ham sandwich? Mm. It all started one day when I was playing in the fields with the sheep at my grandpa's farm. Bah. 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 Wait, you're not, you don't have to be the sheep. You can be playing with the sheep. I don't know why your instinct was like, I'm going to be a sheep today. <laughs> now play with the sheep. <laughs> After about an hour outside, I saw an all white figure standing on the side of the barn, waving at me. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. Can we screen grab that? Can real you quick? zoom in real quick, Marty? Get that, get that shot real quick. At first I was terrified <laughs> but after a few moments, I strangely got the courage to start walking towards the figure. Then, out of nowhere, I started to get a strange buzz in my left ear. It startled me that I almost fell and did a backflip. Oh, this is perfect. That's not in the store. This, I swear to God. <laughs> After a few moments, I caught my balance and looked back to the figure, and he was gone. Get back on the stage. Come on, on stage. <laughs> Kyle's trying to film you, and he's like, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I immediately went running to my grandpa and explained to him what happened. Hey, grandpa, I, I saw a figure over there, and he's gone. That's when my grandpa sat me down and told me the story of what happened on his property. In the early 1800s, a young boy went fishing down by the creek. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> After a few hours, he was supposed to come back home, but he never did. Rumor has it, <laughs> the young boy haunts the land. <laughs> My grandpa told me that he grew up knowing this story and that there was a book in the woods that explained how to summon the boy and find him. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Why are you looking at us? I want to summon a boy. <laughs> I've never done it before. Play some Michael Jackson. <laughs> My grandpa warned me that the woods was dangerous and not to go searching for the book. <laughs> In 
It ended up getting dark and we called it a night and I went to bed. In a really small room. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, when I woke up, I realized it was 6 a.m. And for some reason, I had a feeling to go searching in the woods for that book. <laughs> so I opened my bedroom window <laughs> and I snuck out. <laughs> Once I got outside, I quickly ran to the forest <laughs> and made sure that my grandpa didn't see me. Where's that boy at? <laughs> oh, I don't see him. <laughs> he must be sleeping. <laughs> so I went into the woods and started searching for the book. After about 30 minutes, I stumbled across a gravestone that said from 1801 to 1809. So I figured maybe the book is around here. I spent over 45 minutes searching the entire area looking for the book. Check underneath the seats. I heard there's Dybbuk boxes. Yeah, go look. <laughs> <laughs> then I got this weird chill knowing I was in the right spot. I immediately started digging. <laughs> After about two minutes of scraping all of the leaves from the ground, I actually found a piece of paper that had a ritual on it and instructions on how to do a seance to summon this boy. It almost looked like a piece of paper that was ripped out of a diary. <laughs> <laughs> so I put the piece of paper in the back of my pocket and I went back home. Oh, I thought you were going to I thought it was going to say he was he had to do it in the middle of the forest. I was like <laughs> so ready. I was so ready for you to have to be in the middle of the forest and do that. Can we make an edit? Can we make an edit to the story? It's so, yeah, it's so funny, dude. <laughs> yeah, it might be a little bit funnier. <laughs> All right, it says he went back home, but middle of the forest because it's hilarious. This is my middle of the forest. So then I went to the middle of the forest and decided to do this ritual. More middle. <laughs> More middle. Go ahead. No, no, you, should, you know who you should go to, Corbin. Corbin cousin contortionist, <laughs> your potential. It's okay for you, <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, whoever's back there, can you check that back center camera to make sure it's wide enough? Lena or anyone? There you go. All right, keep going. <laughs> okay. Once I got to the right spot, I pulled the piece of paper back out and I followed the instructions. I closed my eyes. I put my hands out. And I yelled, ooh, <laughs> name, emo, muene. That's it's what it says. M muono, it's M M E U N O. Mueno. Yeah. I yelled this five times. <laughs> Strange enough, after the fifth time I said it, I saw clouds starting to cover the entire sky and it was about to start pouring rain. So
So I ran to cover under a tree. Once I got to the tree, I heard a weird humming noise and it started to freak me out. <laughs> huh? Go back to the tree. <laughs> oh. Corbin, what I was whispering to him was try and keep Corbin in the center of the room and not off to the side of the stage. <laughs> Once I was under the tree, it started pouring rain. <laughs> then, out of nowhere, it looked almost as if the trees were dancing. Dance trees. Dance trees, dance! <laughs> Do the magic tree dance! <laughs> After about 10 minutes, I was laying there crying, scared for my life. I pulled the piece of paper back out and thought that I should finish the instructions for the seance. I laid down on the ground I thought the first story was rough. <laughs> he had to run around the building. You get to take a nap on some random ladies. <laughs> and closed my eyes. The piece of paper said to vision an all white figure running around a tree. <laughs> Weird noise to make laying on her lap. <laughs> Not sure how this ended up happening, but I actually fell asleep while I was trying to vision this. <laughs> After almost two hours of being asleep under the tree, I woke up to my grandpa yelling my name in the forest. Corbin, 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 where are you? Corbin, Corbin. Yeah, it's me. Who else sounds like this, you dip? <laughs> no wonder you're lost in the forest, Corbin. <laughs> I'm right here, listen to my voice. I'm right here, Corbin. Right here. Yeah, you're looking at me. I woke up with fear, thinking that I would be in so much trouble. Oh, you're gonna die. So instead of following my grandpa's voice, I ran deeper into the woods. I'm over here. You can't run. You can't run. You can't run. I will find you. I will hurt you. I will make you bleed. Once I got to the middle of the woods, I thought to myself, man, there is nothing on this piece of paper and Corey made all of this up. Welcome to the Overnight Live Show. <laughs> I'm never going to act again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. Here, if you want to keep that story. Grandpa was pretty good, though. That's, that was, that's, that was a, a pretty that's good That's the story character. he was reading. Th this is literally it. <laughs> <laughs> Flip it over. Yeah, show everybody. <laughs> this is literally it. Yeah. I didn't even check if you were reading anything. You started I, reading when I was here. I know. Thank God you didn't look. Oh. <gasps> and the ghost <gasps> walked behind the stage. <laughs> And out of nowhere, we heard a weird cackle in the hall. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Oh. oh my God. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Wow. That was good. Oh, I'm sorry, dog. 
<laughs> yeah, Elton did this to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and then we did it to Evan. Mm-hmm. Or I did it to Evan, and then you were caught in the crossfire. Yeah, correct. Oh, my God. Mm. And then we did it to Josh and Dan. But they caught on really early. <laughs> I think probably around the point of all the trees started dancing, they would have been like, Bo- That was my favorite part. <laughs> Yo, me too. Everyone's like, That was my favorite part. <laughs> that shot is so funny. Just, <laughs> oh, you did like, yeah. It felt like a Disney movie. Yeah. Kind of tripped me out a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay. And you should act it out. No, it's actually like a serious one. Ah, okay. Like actually, like we're not acting. Yeah, anymore. so that's how you take yourself out of doing I this. I had to do show tunes earlier. He I talked had about, to do show tunes I talked earlier. about a sh- restaurant and that my PP would hit. Okay, okay. Let's, let's get into the story. Excuse me? <laughs> that's what was the lyric. Okay. Wait, is that what you said earlier? <laughs> yeah. I was tap dancing, so I didn't hear. Okay. Okay, so now we will get into an actual real story. The first one was also real. Yes. But, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But the trees dancing, that <laughs> happened. Yeah, that one was fake, if anybody didn't know. <laughs> Everyone I knew. I think they know. But you. We showed the blank paper at least 20 times. Did you guys know? I was even looking up at you, and I didn't see it. Oh, I'm mad at myself now. Dude, that's now. so... We literally had this entire group prank Corbin. That was great. Wow. Good job, guys. Let me wow. get a clap. Everybody cheer right now. Don't clap that was good. for that. That was really good. That was Nobody really good. Nobody told me. Not one of you told me. No. Well, thank you. Okay. All right, serious. Actual right, serious story. Serious. Now will be the final story of the night. Mm-hmm. I have a diary where I wrote it all down at the time. Before this huge event... It's so funny that people have to run behind the literal stage to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Haunted places, right? Yeah. (laughs) Before this huge event, another happened not long before. In April 1995, my grandmother passed away one morning in my family home whilst I was away. I went back home to Oxford to comfort my mother. We lived in a 300-year-old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. The first night I stayed there, I heard a bang come from the room Grandma had been living in for the last year or so. I went in there to see a photo of her and Granddad, which she loved, was in the floor in front of me by the door. It had been placed on top of the TV in the corner about six feet away. I picked it up and put it back and did not think anything of it. The next morning, I heard the noise again and again. The photo was on the floor. I told my mother, Grandma is trying to tell us something and told her about the photo. My mother then said the night before she died, she grabbed her hand and said, look after Robin, my father. He's not well. My mother said, oh, he's fine. Don't worry. Have a good sleep. And she died the next day. Three weeks later, my father went to the doctor and was diagnosed with cancer with two weeks to live. He actually lasted two months and passed away on September 14th, 1995, my 23rd birthday. After he passed, a few days later, on the 23rd, I had been so worried about my mother being on her own, having to just lost her mother and now her husband. That night, I got up to go to the loo and came out of the bathroom to hear an alarm go off in their room. I knew it was my father's watch alarm that he set to go off every morning. It hadn't gone off since he was ill. So bearing in mind how old the house was and creepy at night, I walked in the dark into my parents' room and saw a white haze hovering over my mother who was fast asleep. I remember crying and running back to bed and then realizing the alarm had stopped. It was like a spirit had set the alarm to get me there to show me something, was watching over my mother, hoping it was my father. 
the alarm didn't go off again. That's when I believed I will dig out my diary and bring it with me. We'll attach an image of the diary. And this is from Claire. Claire, come could on you come up, up please? Claire. Give it up for Claire, y'all. Woo! Thank you for sharing the story. Yeah. Appreciate it. What an amazing story that is. Jeez. Made me quite emotional actually hearing. Yeah. Say. Yeah. And then I heard the lady next to me go, oh, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> and you went, I know. I, know. I was there. <laughs> Aww. Okay, well, and how long ago was this then for you? 95, 90, 1995. 95, got it. 27 years ago. Okay. And what do you think was happening? Like, no, 27 years later, obviously being able to remember the story and, and retell it in detail, what do you feel as though was happening? I think it was a reassurance to me that there's something else out there and it was going to protect my mother as long as possible. But the white light... I saw in one of your YouTube videos. What? Over you. Really? Yeah. I can't remember which one, but yeah. Over Corey? Over Corey. As in you saw it, or is it I, in the video I where like any, the, if anyone were I to watch it? I think it's in the video. I will work really? out which one it is, but yeah. So the same haze hovering next to you. So do you, you believe that that white haze is a spirit watching over or yeah. protecting? Protecting. Yeah. Wow, I want to see that. Yeah, I'd love to know what video that is because yeah. I feel like I, I edit with a pretty good fine fine cut. I want to know when you, when you walked in the room and you saw that white haze, obviously scared right off the bat, but what were you feeling in that moment? I was absolutely frozen. Mm -hmm. It was so cold. Yeah. Freezing cold, but my mother was completely fast asleep. Nothing. It was literally like he was hovering. You said he. You, you, I think you feel father. like it's him. Yeah, I think it was my father. Okay. So to go back to your grandma with the photo, did that ever happen again? Did it ever keep falling? It did. It happened several times. Yeah. Really? Yeah. When, when did it stop? Was it, it that year? It stopped that year, but it was just, it was six feet. To go six feet on yeah. its own is just bizarre. So it'd be kind of in a similar area every time. Every time it's by my feet in the front of the door. But it was of my grandmother and her husband. Hmm. Wow. And you believe that was her? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to say, look after your dad. Mm. Wow. Has that happened with any other family members since? Have you had any other incidents or even other people in your family having those kind of occurrences? We've had a recent one. My daughter's there actually and she's no idea about this so she might freak out now. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm excited. She's only, she's only 12. <laughs> oh, oh wow. I apologize for everything we said earlier. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> everything. She's all of watched it. everything you've made so it's fine. She hasn't watched this until now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, in August it was the anniversary when my brother passed away and that night something woke me up and it felt like something went really fast at my face and then stopped and then disappeared again. Very strange. The next morning, my niece, my brother's daughter, rang me. She said, I know I can tell you this. She said, but about 1.30 last night, I felt somebody was watching me. Wow. On the anniversary of when her, her dad, my brother, passed away. Wow. Wow. So we are, in our heads, we, we've sort of rationalized it that he came to make sure I was okay because the year last year I'd had breast cancer. We think he came to check I was okay and then he went to check on his daughter because he knew I was all right. Wow. 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 Any other secrets you're hiding from your daughter? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not telling her now. <laughs> <laughs> what if she covers her ears, would you tell us? Ooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So uh, just uh, kind of like random question, but is your entire family like very open to spirits and stuff like that? No, it was very much, this doesn't happen. Don't be silly. Yeah. Kind of thing. But even now I do get the sense every so often that somebody sits on the bed. Really? Yeah. Did you know that? No. <laughs> oh, you want us to keep going, or do you not want to sleep for the rest of your life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, if, if I'm going through, like, a tough time, I feel like the bed feels like it 
sinks by my feet like somebody sat half on my foot. And it's not my husband. Have wow. you, I asked this question earlier, but have you ever gone to someone else to analyze or kind of look upon the situation? Slightly. I did see someone many, many years ago who said your father will be with you all the time. He's not going to leave your side, which is a bit dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> also, glad you said it and not me. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want your dad there. <laughs> True. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> Speaking from my experience, they like it a lot more when you... <laughs> okay, hey, hey. okay, okay, let's go back to the store. I thought that's what you were doing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and have, wait, now I'm curious, have you experienced anything? Nothing. Has anyone else in the family decides who is it, the niece? That's the only thing she's ever experienced. And you, you've talked to other family members, though, about this. No. Oh, why not? I don't know. Hmm. How many how many people have you told about this or do you not really talk about I've it? I've never really spoken about it. I've only spoken to about three, four people about it, including my husband. Wow. He's had his own experiences, so he got it. Have you not spoken about it to your other family because you're afraid that more of them have also had this occurrence? Or like what what is the reasoning for not sharing this information, especially knowing that these occurrences have actually impacted Mm. your family like why why have you held that in do you know what I think it's the fear of everyone going god you're bonkers mm. are you you batty or something that's another English thing wait what was it so what was the word you batty 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 I know that one from the Spice World movie I love that growing up <laughs> that yeah, wasn't a joke <laughs> that's so serious I have assigned I have assigned VHS at home <laughs> don't know what to say after that but anyway <laughs> nothing it's fine <laughs> Pot spice. <laughs> no, no, that, that makes sense. I mean, that's, that's kind of what we're talking about in terms of having a community of people who mm. you can't talk to certain people mm. you know, no. because you do feel like there's a certain portion that's going to say you're crazy. Yeah. yeah. And I think watching your channel, and I think most people here will agree, is making you feel, oh, I can watch this and enjoy it without people judging you. Mm -hmm. And we love to watch it together, which is a really good bonding for us. It's awesome. Aww. That's cool. That's really cool. That's cool. Okay, but eventually you're going to get your daughter haunted, so let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any fear that it's going to eventually... Do you know what? No, because she's, she's very spiritual. Hmm. I think she'd be very level-headed with it. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually very curious to see, like, you know, I know it's scary to talk to your family about it, but if there's ever any experience that they've had, I mean, that would really support this, this idea. You yeah. Know? It was a very spooky old house, farmhouse, middle mm. of nowhere, with a loft that wasn't livable. So if you went up there, it was very, very creepy. Mm. Do you have any desire to go to a professional or someone in that space and go, can you confirm? Oh, like, yeah. Do you want that confirmation that maybe it is your father or someone else in the yeah. lineage? Yeah. Okay. I would. If you ever do that, I'd be very interested to know like what they say or if you go to multiple, what, you know, what they all say. Mm. But it's that's, that's right very one. interesting, yeah. You've never had a desire to like have that moment happen and then like ring them up and be like, run, it's gonna happen tonight. You know what I mean? And like, and, and try and prevent something. Do you I, feel like you get that kind of a notice or is it just like, you're gonna know and you just, do you think there's a reason why you get these premonitions or these warnings? I do think I've got some, I don't know. I can go into certain buildings and go, I can't go in there. Mm. So I do have a sort of- You just get that feeling. Feeling. I feel very uncomfortable. There's a, there's a palace in um, Oxfordshire called Blenheim Palace, which is absolutely a beautiful place, but there are certain rooms in there I can't go in. Mm. I just feel that you're being watched. Did you ever do anything growing up paranormal? I don't think so. You don't think I so? I don't remember, that's the thing. You don't remember no. if you did anything paranormal? No. You never but I didn't walked do into the middle of a forest and... <laughs> 
found some dancing trees. <laughs> Summon a little boy. With, yeah, well, yeah. maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Unfortunately. If I was a little girl, yes. <laughs> That's where I should have gotten it when you said summoning a little boy. That's where I should have known, okay, yeah. you're messing with me. Yeah, part of what like, we always like when we have people come on stage is like encouraging them to keep going on their, on their mm. journey if they so choose. So genuinely, if you do decide to go further into that world and, and find anything out, like we'd, we'd just love to know. Yeah, yeah. seriously. It's just, uh, yeah. I think after what I went through last year, I'm open to finding out what's going on after life. Okay, mm. definitely. Well, if you have any answers, please let me know because I need to alter a lot of light choices as soon as I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you well, think that you would talk to any family members about this? Like, as the years have gone by, have you been like, damn, I think I should tell them? No. Because mm. I felt they'd just laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Is, has anyone in your family ever said they had a paranormal experience or is that just something no one really talks about? There is a, there is a family story about a photograph which I really wanted to bring today, but I can't find it, of a premonition of a, a lady with a hood going up some staircases. Really? Which all the family have got a copy of. But they all say, oh, it's when two photographs blended together. Oh, yeah. They all still have a copy of it, though, so that's, that does say something. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm curious. I, I, I don't know. I want to fast forward like a year or two, and I want you to be like, so my family actually ended up hitting me up and being like, hey, some stuff was happening. Has anything happened to you? <laughs> you know, I want to know if this is happening to any other family members. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really do. I'll have a conversation. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had? Have you ever tried to have a conversation? Like I did with my mother before she passed away. Yeah, and she she was very flippant about it. Mm. There was a logical explanation to everything. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Well, sincerely, thank you for sharing your story. Thank seriously. you so Thanks much for bringing your daughter yes. and yes. watching the videos. And seriously, let us know. Yeah. Thank you all so much for coming out tonight. <laughs> Mark, can you come up here, bud? Yeah, you can go.